With the origins of graffiti, it was like really about the subway traveling from one neighborhood to another, and your name or your style would go to these different places. People would see that. The mobility of it has its, its roots in that. One of the ideas behind the truck really is, is it's as much a part of the urban landscape in the way that a basketball court is. You know, when I was writing graffiti, you know, I wrote on trucks, I wrote on handball court walls, schoolyards, you know, walls in general, and things that just existed in, in my landscape. And so I, the truck just seemed fitting that we could also bring it to different locations and it would still have the same kind of relevance in any urban setting. I'm essentially trying to control something that is pretty uncontrollable. There's so many random things happening that you know I have to let go of certain things and leave them to chance, and that's part of my process is allowing that. Sometimes it is a little stressful. I'm close to it, I'm far away from it. The paint is dripping, it's doing its thing, it's moving, and I have to give it some time to settle. <laughs> I think the truck looks great. I think it definitely has a, a great presence and I think people are, are going to just be like, what the hell happened here and, and kind of be attracted to it and, and want to find out that there's a story behind it.